What's going on everyone on YouTube? Griffin here coming back to you guys with another video from the Millennial Motivation Entrepreneur YouTube channel. First and foremost, if you're tuning in for the first time, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button below. We'd love to add you to this awesome community. And if you're new, definitely check out our Discord group chat. That's down in the, in the description box. If you don't know what Discord is, it's an easy app you can download on any Android, um, iPhone, any smartphone essentially that has an app store. You can download it. Click that link and it'll take you right to our group of about 80 people. Uh, but with that, we'll go ahead and just hop right in. Um, as you guys know, I'm not necessarily quote unquote trading other than I will be trading those micro mini futures possibly here in the next month when they come out in May. Today is currently May 1st, so I don't know the exact date that those are going to be released. But once those are released, we will look at possibly playing around with those. But as of now, I'm just kind of diving into just like mutual funds, index funds, that kind of thing within Vanguard specifically. I definitely suggest you guys check like Vanguard out. No, I do not like get paid. I don't have any referral link, anything like that for Vanguard. It's just anyone that's been trading or investing for longer than two minutes has probably heard of Vanguard. And I've heard recently that they've been cutting their fees left and right, just shaking up the market big time. So I wanted to look into it myself. And as you can see, I mean, there's 128 funds you can pick from, from anything as little as just little money market accounts. And they show you like um, your expense ratios from a percentage standpoint, which as you can see is all very low. Um, it'll show you like the SEC yield. It'll show you your one year average, five year average, 10 year, and then what it is average since the fund has originated and what dates. And when I'm looking at a fund personally, I always like to look at something, see how old it is. If it like right now we're in 2019, middle of 2019, if it's not older than about the year of like 2005 before the 2008 recession, I, I just don't really take it all too seriously, especially if it has like a high percentage, like you kind of want to take it with a grain of salt since we've had a pretty nice bull market since about what, 2009, 2010, we've been on about an eight to 10 year run in this bull market. So you need to be paying attention to when the, in, in the inception dates are and what the average return is, of course, and then you want to dive into the fees, everything like that. I'll kind of keep it short and just sweet for you guys. I also went over to TD Ameritrade and kind of just made a short list of everything. So if you guys want to yourself to look up each individual ticker symbol, um, it gets a little sloppy just because obviously you don't have like high volume necessarily. Um, some of these have higher volume than the others, like this healthcare one, for example, you can tell. I mean, it's like there's really no quote unquote volume that's going to show up on the TD Ameritrade Thinkorswim platform, but you'll get a good idea. Like this is the healthcare um, fund. It's VGHCX, as you can see at the top of the screen, which I personally, my two cents, um, I think this is an amazing buying opportunity. You can see the double bottom formed beautifully on the daily chart. Um, I mean, you could see a little bit more downside within healthcare just because of obviously we have the U.S. election coming up and you have a bunch of these Looney Democrats that are trying to push this free health care for all, which will never happen. But at the end of the day, sell the news ends up being a buying opportunity for us. I think there will be amazing buying opportunities in the upcoming year or so within health care. So if you're looking, just just be on the lookout for this. This is VH, VGHCX Vanguard Healthcare fund so we'll go back to that actually so we can just use that as our example see like i said guys there's a ton of funds in here and i definitely suggest you guys do your homework and um, pick funds that are right for you so you can see this healthcare fund it was originated in 1984 so i mean a good established fund and it's average 16 percent return uh, since inception you can see over the last 10 years it's averaged about 15 and a half um, over the last five years nine seven um, three, it's up about, it's still up about 4% year to date. And it's had obviously, like we just seen a pretty big downfall over the last couple months. So it's not doing too bad given just how it's been acting lately. So we'll just go into that healthcare fund real quick and we'll just take a look at everything just so you guys get a good idea. And what I like about Vanguard too, is the website is pretty um, mobile friendly, as you can see. I mean, obviously everything is going to be a little bit more clunky on your phone. <clears throat> I, I do this person on my laptop for the most part, but I wanted to do this video for you guys so you can see it. My laptop microphone's been acting up. So we're doing it on the phone and it's not really too clunky at all. So you can see just the overall product summary, <clears throat> the fund facts, expense ratio is less than half of a percent, which is very good. 
Minimum investment, $3,000. That's something you'll have to take into consideration when you're investing in these specific funds. Um, Because I know a lot of you guys will be investing with as little as like $100, $500. We all got to start somewhere, right? And I'll probably come out with future videos in the very near future of alternatives until you can reach like these $3,000 minimums. Most of the minimums are around $3,000. Uh, but there's other alternatives such as ETFs where you can even get started on Robinhood for free. Like I said, I'll talk more about that probably in a future video and <clears throat> more videos to come. So definitely consider subscribing below if you have not already, of course. But with that being said, I mean, like I said, you can just go through. You can look at the risk reward potential. Obviously, a five is going to be very, very risky. <clears throat> but overall, like I said, if you just go through there and you see just the price performance, all that good stuff. You can see how the fund has has been like over the last year, three years, 30 days even. You can even see the last 30 days here. It shows it's up about 1%. Today it was up about a tenth of a percent. Um, historical prices in 2019, $189. Um, $185 is probably the low of last month. <clears throat> and then you can even see our growth performance um, it's giving you an example, essentially. So let's say you put $10,000 into this fund 10 years ago. It's showing that your $10,000 would have turned into anywhere between forty dollars and $50,000 over the last 10 years. So you would have almost 4 to 5x your money, 4.5x right now, how it looks of your money. So, I mean, that's not a bad return at all. Obviously, like I said, last 10 years, we're going to kind of want to take it with a grain of salt just because, I mean, we're still in a historic bear market. Um, I think on the laptop version, you can go out to about 20 years or like since inception, whatever. Um, but I mean, you can look at just last three years, for example, if you're thinking short term, your 10,000 would have still ended up being a little over 12 at 1.13,000. Um, so I mean, still a good return. You're talking 30, 20, 30% return on your money within just a couple of years. That's not bad at all. S&P 500 obviously averages right around 10% a year, give or take 8 to 12% a year on average. <clears throat> giving in those down years and all that good stuff. But, um, yeah, I mean, you can see one year, 7.3, over the last 10 years, 15 and a half. I mean, it's been pretty much averaging 10 to 15% every single year since inception. So, I mean, to me, this is a good fun. Obviously, it's going to have its ups and downs, like we said, when you get those loony Democrats that want to do the whole free health care for all BS. That'll never happen. That'll stir up the price a little bit of just health stocks in general. But, um, I mean, there's just so many good, there's so much good information in the Vanguard platform and and their website that just shows you, like, before taxes, after taxes, yada, 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 compares um, their fund. I might have passed it already, but, like, it would compare your return uh, versus if you were, like, an average healthcare fund. I might have missed it. Let me see. So, like, this is your after-tax returns updated quarterly. I mean, like I said, there's just so many different things that you can, like, dive into. I definitely suggest you guys always, of course, do your homework before hopping into any of these funds. But, um, like I said, I definitely suggest just hopping in here, just going through their menu and just seeing all of, like, their benefits and costs, um, all that good stuff, 401k rollovers, account transfers. Uh, me and my fiance are about to do her 401k rollover from when we moved to Texas this last year. Um, but real quickly, just before I end the video, I'll just show you guys, like I said, a few of the funds that I'm keeping my eye on, as well as ETFs that, like I said, we'll talk more about these, how you can get started with investing in these on apps like Robinhood and M1 Finance in the very near future. VOO, that's one that's very a very good liquid fund to invest in. That's an ETF. VTI is another ETF. And VYM, that's another one. This is more of your high yield. It doesn't really, it's not really too volatile, but it can make you some decent returns, obviously. Uh, VWO is another one. Uh, VNQ, that's the real estate ETF. And like I said, these the e, any of these ETFs, guys, you can invest in these on apps like Robinhood, M1 Finance, etc. And like I said, we'll talk more about those in the future. But as for these funds, we have VFINX. It pretty much goes hand in hand with like pretty close to the S&P 500, really. You can see it's just called the Vanguard 500 Index. We have VGSTX, which is, again, just another fund. Um, 
and all of these, like I said, they're all within this platform here. We can go back and uh, look at each one if you guys want. Um, I'll just show you pretty much which ones we're talking about. So we have VGSTX. We'll just scroll down here and find which one I was looking at. Um, so as you can see, VGSTX, that one, if we scroll all the way over here, again, what I'm looking at, boom. It was originated in 1985, so it's literally a 30 plus year old fund now, and it's averaged about 9.5% per year since inception. Not too bad over the last 10 years, it's done about 10.5%. Again, not too bad overall in my opinion. So, like I said, I just simply went through there and found a bunch of funds that I was pretty intrigued with that have very low expense ratios that have that they've been around for a very long time and they'll probably be around for a very long time to come. Um, am I investing in these right now? No, absolutely not. Like I said, those of you that have been with the channel for a little bit and seen the last few videos know that I'm currently not investing at all right now since our child is literally about three months from being here and we're planning on taking some time off or building up that emergency fund with um, at least ten dollars to $20,000 worth of expenses into our savings. Um, right now, we got about a month or two of expenses saved up. We want to get that up to six months of savings. That way, we don't have to worry about paying any bills that first two to three months while we're on maternity leave or whatever you want to call it. And um, I'll eventually go back to work. And then before long, uh, we're going to be starting our own businesses and all that good stuff. So within the next year, we're definitely going to hop back into investing and we will be investing in all of these funds um, as well as some of these ETFs. And besides, the market, of course, is at all-time highs. It's just not attractive, in my opinion, right now to even be buying in the market but um, we'll just finish real quick going over these VWIGX. And again, you can like go over like the last 20 years or something like that on um, <clears throat> the TD Ameritrade Thinkorswim platform. And you can just see how much these funds have gone up ever since the recession in 2008, 2009. So you can see it had a low of $9.42 in 2009. It's currently right around $30. You're talking about a pretty damn good return. What about um, 3x, 3 to 4x over the last 10 years, like we mentioned, uh, with the healthcare. And, I mean, that's mo for the most part the entire market. But um, the good thing, like I said, with Vanguard is is you just have those very, 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 very cheap, inexpensive fees. The fees are what kill people a lot of times when they're investing in mutual funds, um, even index funds at times. Index funds usually have lower fees because they're not is hot there's not as much trading going on so that you're not going to occur so many brokerage fees all that good stuff um that a lot of these funds will charge you like some funds can take as much as up to two percent plus per year i mean even if they lose money like say say you lost money say the s p you're in an s p mutual fund for example and the expense ratio is two percent and say the market drops five percent that year they're still going to take their 2%. So your 5% loss just turned into a 7% loss all because you're in a mutual fund or whatever type of fund that has a high expense ratio. So you want to take a look, very, very close look into those expense ratios. Vanguard has some crazy low ratios. I think the lowest they have is like a 0.04% ratio. So, I mean, that's just insane, guys. I mean, they're taking pennies, pennies on the dollar, literally. I mean, I think... If we wanted to break down the math on $1,000, they're going to take like $0.40, cents, something like that. Maybe four. I might have my math off. It might be $4 or something. But either way, I mean, we're talking such a small amount. I mean, just imagine 2% of 1000 That's 20 bucks. So, I mean, say your $1,000 went down 5% and you lost 50 bucks, then you just lost an additional 20 bucks on top of that. So, it doesn't feel that good, right? So... Definitely at least look into Vanguard from the expense ratio standpoint compared to maybe a mutual fund you're currently in if you're in any mutual funds right now. Um, and if you're just getting started, I mean, like I said, we'll get into like how you can get invested in funds similar to these on Robinhood and M1 Finance in an upcoming video, probably be my next video in all honesty. I'll probably go ahead and shoot it after I upload this one and that'll probably be coming out in a few days. But we'll get we'll talk about all that in the next video. But like I said, a lot of these, you do have to have like $3,000 to invest in them, especially like these bigger funds. But 
at the end of the day, you got to start somewhere. So like I said, I'll definitely be uploading that video about how you can invest in like VOO and uh, VTI, all these other different ETFs in the meantime, while you continue to invest in your financial freedom. But um, definitely, definitely head on over to Vanguard. And if you guys are wondering what platform I'm showing you guys right now, this is the TD Ameritrade Thinkorswim platform, of course. Um, I have tons of videos about that if you want to know how to get this platform on your cell phone. Um, and then, like I said, this is just investor.vanguard.com. Like I said, I mean, there's 128 different funds that you can pick from. Uh, so just definitely go through there, do your homework, do your due diligence. And then if you've got the money on, on hand available to invest, definitely put that money to work. I mean, you guys work hard for your money. I know I work hard, work very, very hard for my money. I mean, you got to get your money to work for you. You're like, don't just make the money and spend it. Make the money and tell the money, hey, bitch, now you go to work. I worked for the money. I need the money to work for me to make more money. So, I mean, if you literally just work a job your whole life, you're just going to be just over broke. J-O-B, just over broke at the end of the day. So, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, definitely make sure to smash that like button. I greatly appreciate that. And like I said, if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed this video, if you watched it this far, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button below and hitting that bell icon. That way you'll be notified if we go live or update another video, update, upload another video. And then lastly, like I said, check out that Discord group chat. That's down in the description box. There's like 80 or so of us in there now. Let's try to get that up to 100 as soon as possible. That way we can have even more people in there, a bunch of like-minded individuals discussing trading in the stock market and investing in our financial freedom. But until next time, guys, keep on going out there, making your profits, covering your profits, achieving your financial freedom this year. And I'll see you guys, like I said, very, very soon for another video about investing in Vanguard ETFs. But until then... Take it easy, guys.